Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to film a quick little Sephora haul for you guys. This is everything I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale that is currently happening. Hopefully this is going up the day before the sale ends. So in case you guys see anything that you maybe want to pick up, you can add it to your list. I will go ahead and leave a link down below where if you use my link, I will make a small commission, which definitely helps me out because then I can pick up and review more makeup because girl makes some money doing that. So if you want to support me, you sure can. And thank you to everyone that's already shopped my link. You guys totally make my day when you do that because it's so fun to just see like who clicks on my links and stuff like that. Sorry, I'm not trying to put any pressure on you guys. There's absolutely no pressure, but just know that I am so appreciative when you use my links. So anyway, really quick, I did want to go over what's currently in my Sephora cart. I still have some time to place some orders, so I just thought it would be fun for me to tell you guys what's in my cart right now. So the first thing on here, this was totally inspired by Kara. I will try and remember to link her channel down in the description box, but she is one of my newer YouTube friends and she was wearing these lashes in her Jeffree Star mini conspiracy palette, con controversy palette video and it is the Huda Beauty eyelashes in Camille. These look so cute. I actually saw them in person when I was at Sephora in Minneapolis and I almost bought them but I was like, Karen, you don't even wear lashes. Like, stop it. But these look so wispy and beautiful on Kara that I totally kind of want to buy them. And they're also $18 and I usually never spend that kind of money on lashes. I did put lashes on today. Oh my gosh, look at me. I'm so impressive. These are from Shop Missy, so they were like a dollar, okay? So I'm still trying to like figure out if I want to go there and spend $18 on eyelashes. The next thing in my card is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette in Ghost. $58. I saw this in person in New York and I was like, nope, that shit is ashy AF. But I was watching Mel Thompson's video today and I was like, ooh, maybe it'll work. Maybe I should get it on sale. I think that one is going to get kicked out of my cart though because honestly, I have so many face products. And if you guys know me, like face products are nice, but it's not my thing. My thing is eyeshadow palettes. I love to collect them and hoard them. So I've tried to come to terms and make a compromise with myself that it's okay if I buy eyeshadow palettes as long as I don't buy any other kind of makeup. And I try and use some of that up. And like, as I'm trying to talk myself out of a blush palette, like look at the collection of like ColourPop blushes and I have more ColourPop blushes. Blah, blah. I don't need blushes, okay? So that's gonna get kicked off my list for sure. And I have been like loving this toner. This is the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. I picked this up the last sale they had in the summertime and look at how much I've used up. I actually have two of these. I have one in my upstairs bathroom. That one is hardly used because I always come down here to do my skincare in the morning and in the evening. I use that on a cotton pad just to clean up my face and it's so, so good. That one is $33, so I thought I would try the Belief Aqua Bomb Hydrating Toner. That one is $20 and you get a little bit more product, so that is currently sitting in my cart. And then again, Mel Thompson was talking about the Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. That is $29, and I have been loving the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation, you guys. I would bet that I'm at least halfway through this bottle because I've been using it that much. I really, really like that foundation. It's one of my favorite foundations of 2019. So I was like, why don't I try the concealer? I feel like I should try the concealer. I feel like I would really like the concealer. So that is in my cart currently. And then the Huda Sticky Tack Lash Glue. So I have the original Huda Lash Glue in my drawer here. Here it is and it's very sticky. It's great but I guess they discontinued this one so I didn't know that and then I also bought this guy which is the Velour Lash Glue and this is actually really good. I use this at my friend's wedding. I used it today and I really like it and it has a brush tip applicator which is really nice. The Huda one I always squeeze out more than I need to so I do have her Sticky Tack Lash Glue 
on my list and it's $14, but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to pick that up. And then I have the Sephora Veramona Brush Cleaner Color Switch. This was like all the rage. Everyone was putting these in their videos, the color switch, the color switch, the color switch. And I really like using it now. I've been using it more. I know my friend Angelica uses this, you know, when she's doing eye looks on her channel. And so I like whipped it out and started using it again. So I thought it would be nice to pick up a new one and they have one for $18 on Sephora. So that is on my list of things to buy because I kind of want a backup of it. And I also love to use the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. I keep it in a spray bottle like this and I use that to clean my brushes when I'm filming eyeshadow looks as well. But the Veramona one, it's dry so I don't have to like wait for my brushes to dry when I'm doing eyeshadow looks. Not that it takes that long for the Cinema Secrets to dry up either, but I kind of like using the brush cleaner color switch because I feel like it's less harsh on my brushes. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining that. The other thing that has been on and off my list for so many years is the Youth of the People Superberry Hydrate Glow Oil. This is always in Stephanie Nicole's recommendations video and I watched her video last night as well and I was like, ooh, maybe I should buy that and so it's in my list. <laughs> It's in my cart currently because I love a good face oil. I've tried so many oils. She also recommended the Herbivore oil, which I have this one, the Emerald. This is the one with CBD, but she also recommended the one that doesn't have CBD, but I don't need it because I have that one. So I think I'm gonna try the Youth of the People one. We'll see how that goes. And then I have two fragrances on here. This is totally Angie. She bought Jazz Club by Ma Mason Margiela Replica. Um, she bought Jazz Club in New York and she let me smell it and then I also smelled many of their fragrances while we were in New York and oh my god Jazz Club smells so sexy. Like let me read you guys the notes because this is totally not something I would go for. But I really like this. So Jazz Club immortalizes the masculine and exhilarating ambience of a Brooklyn jazz club. The balmy base scent of musk, vanilla, tonka bean, um, and tobacco leaves combine to evoke a familiar but forgotten moment, a night to a hidden jazz club. Um, it's just a beautiful scent. I can't even explain it. If you like a sexy but not like heavy scent, you would like Jazz Club. And then I smelled their lemon tree, which literally smells just like a lemon tree. So the full sizes of these cologne slash perfumes are about $126. Literally, Rail was gonna buy me lemon tree when we were in the cities this past week. And I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, you just bought me a very expensive fragrance. You don't need to buy me another one. So I'm thinking of getting the little travel sprays because that way I can use them and use them up because I have so many full size fragrances. So I thought then if I get through the travel size and I still like miss it and I want it like in my collection, I can get the full sizes. So those are on my list. The next thing in my cart is currently showing us out of stock. It is the True Cream Moisture Balm from Belief. I know winter is coming. You guys, I love a good fucking hydrating product. Like, that's the thing about me. I need, like, my face needs moisturizer, okay? So I will buy, like, all kinds of moisturizer. I have the Tatcha. I have the Laneige. Like, I have all kinds of oils. Niacinamide by Good Jeans. Like, it's all here. I got, like, a skincare drawer, and it is packed to capacity. And... I was like, you know, if I can catch it on a sale, why not? This is a big daddy too. This is a $62 moisture balm and it has 3.38 ounces. So that I did kind of have my eye on, but if it doesn't come back in stock, I guess I can't get it. It is what it is. And then we have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the scent Mint Chocolate Chip, which I want so badly because that just sounds right up my alley. Plus the packaging is super cute. It's in like this blue packaging, so I like really kind of want it. Um, but I think I'm not going to get it because I have two of the lime apple scent, the green packaging, and I'm not even close to being done with those. So I'm just gonna wait it out. Plus, I'm not sure that I love the Laneige 
lip sleeping mask. I know it's like a cult favorite and like everyone raves about it, but I honestly don't think it's that good. I think it's like every time I fall for the packaging and I buy it, I don't like the original scent at all. So I was very happy when they came out with an apple lime. And I'm I'm just like, oh, get it on sale, it's fine, it's not that expensive, but I'm like, no. Like, I've had chippity chop lips because the weather is changing here, and I've actually got a scab on my lip, and I've been picking it and picking it, and it's been so dry, and I've been coating it with the Laneige, and it's not really helping. Today, I actually use the Pat McGrath Clear Lip Balm, and that feels a lot better than the Laneige, so I'm like, you know what, it's not really working for me, so... Even though I really want it, I should take it off. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to take the out of stock item on my Sephora cart. And I'm also going to remove the Huda Lash Glue because I have the Velour one. So now my cart looks a little more manageable. I'm at $193 before my 20% off. And then with my 20% off, I'm at $154.40. So those are the products I'm like really, really like. I have been playing with my cart. Like my Sephora cart is like my Super Bowl fantasy football team. I like take things off, put things back on. Like I go back and forth. I've already placed one order. So I want to show you guys what I got. But let me just go through my loves list really quickly and see if there's other things I want to shout out. So the Sol de Janeiro Biggie Biggie bum bum cream is available on Sephora's site. It's $76. It's a huge tub of the Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream, which a lot of people are huge fans of. I honestly just cannot pay that kind of price for a body lotion. I have a ton of minis of the Sol de Janeiro um, lotions, so I'm like more than satisfied with having those. I also have a Huda throwback lip in the shade board meeting, but I've heard mixed reviews about that lip formula and I never really use a lip liner, so I'm gonna hold off on that. I do like the Sephora where is the penguin mask set, but I again, I hoard mask, face mask, so I'm gonna hold off on that. I really want another Kaja Bento Bouncy Shimmer like trio. I just picked this one up in Orange Blossom when I was in New York. These are so shimmery. Um, so if you're eyeing them, definitely consider that. And then I love my Tweezerman mini nail kit. So if you guys are looking for a good mini nail kit, definitely check that one out. I kind of have the nude obsession in nude light in my loves list, but I think I'm going to go ahead and stay away because I've already ordered more new eyeshadow palettes. I have all the Melt stuff because the new Melt collection is showing on Sephora, so it is going to come to Sephora, but they actually did a secret launch last night or the night before, so I already picked up the highlighter as well as the two eyeshadow palettes, so I won't be picking those up from Sephora, so I can take those off my loves list and... I really, really have my eye on this Seafoil Finger Multitasking Eye and Cheek Palette from Tarte. I swatched this when I was in New York and it swatched like butter. So I feel like that palette is going to be one of those that I buy and then I'll get bored with and you'll never see it again. So I'm really trying hard not to spend my money on something like that. I'm also really tempted by the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Glossy Posse Mini Gloss Balm Set for $42, but I know I won't really go back to those glosses. I never really liked the original gloss bomb, to be honest, so staying away from that. And yeah, I just have a bunch of other palettes and things like that, but I feel like I gave you the main gist of what I was gonna pick up, which is the skincare and some of those other things I've been wanting to try out. So let me know some things that you are dying to pick up during the Sephora sale and any product recommendations are very much appreciated here on my channel. I am going to film my haul in a separate video. I'm going to upload two videos today, so make sure you check out both of them. I just decided this as I was filming. I was going to make it one long video, but I thought it would be more fun to split up like recommendations plus my current cart and a separate video for what I've already purchased. So if you guys are interested in seeing 
what I actually bought in the first half of the sale. I will go ahead and link that video in my end screen. And thank you guys for watching this one. And I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys.